something I've been meaning to do for a while. Jason, I challenge you to a duel. You have to do it after I took my shoes off. Okay. <laughs> You've been muscling in on my videos too long. Very well, sir. That's a sock. I'm not going to do it with a sock. I'm going to do it with a platypus. Traditionally, you throw down the gauntlet. <laughs> I accept your offer. Right. To so the field of honour. five minutes. Right. Do you yeah. want the back, back garden field of honour or the street field of honour? There's probably more room out there. Like street it. field of honour. This channel here. I have travelled far, I have travelled wide, but now I have it. A baked potato with vegetarian haggis. It's just a miracle. And he's still here. Worthy of the ve of the vegetarian gods themselves. Possibly, possibly not the vegan gods. Depends if it has egg in it. Uh, it did have a, a little sign that said nut. Fair so that's enough. fine. But so long as it's it's fine. It's mildly offensive to the allergenic gods, but they're not really part of this. Okay. No. Yum. Well, I have to say, on balance, that was probably the best meal I've had since I've got to Scotland. That was really, really well done. It's certainly the best example of vegetarian haggis I've ever had. I've only ever tried it once before. And, uh, yeah, definitely recommend them. They're Are you reminiscent of nut roast? Yeah, although better, in almost every measurable fashion. Uh, Jason, as somebody who's had the definite article, what is your opinion on that? Well, from the mouthful I had, I'd say it compares quite favourably to normal haggis. I mean, it's just as anonymous, it's slightly more crunchy, and the pepperiness is about the same. Oh, OK. So, as my anonymous Scottish foods go, um, I'm going to have to give evil footing, evil footing? Yeah, equal evil footing to uh, haggis <laughs> and pseudo-haggis. Well, at least it is indeed fried. Tune in next time! <laughs> Day 11? Yes, 11. Uh, heading towards a singing recital which uh, was bought by our principal, which I'm sure is going to be oh so fun. It could be. And, uh, yeah, we shall see. I'll try and take some footage of it. On an unrelated note, past a girl with both green hair and yellow boots. Yes, it was a love that was not meant to be. Alas. Well, I didn't get any footage of the concert, but honestly, you're not missing much. I mean, it was obvious that the guy was very, very talented, and obviously the uh, pianist with him was very, very talented, but the overall effect for me was extremely soporific. Half the time, we couldn't understand what they're saying, because they're either uh, singing in German or Italian, and... By the end, it was just dragging. You know, nice experience, not one I think I'm ever going to repeat. So, I'm on my way to my penultimate performance. And then I've got a whole evening lined up after me. Uh, 
Yeah, that's pretty much all of note that's happened since I last spoke to you. I'll speak to you at the venue. Well, that was my penultimate show. Apparently, it was the quickest show we've ever done. I uh, met up with a filmmaker guy afterwards who was a mutual friend of Jason and uh, had a nice long good chat. There are possibilities brewing there, perhaps. But now I'm on my way to the first of three shows I'm having to see this evening. So I've had a very interesting evening. I went and saw two shows at the same venue, the South Sider, which was very, very good. First was a comedy duo. They were quite good, actually. Um, uh, Tom and Dan. Yeah, that was what they were called. Yeah, very good. I, I enjoyed them. And then afterwards was a, uh, a, a Skeptics show, which was... Um, how to talk with the dead, which was great fun. Um, I I knew quite a lot about it going into it because I'm interested in that stuff anyway. But um, it just kind of fleshed out a lot of uh, stuff that I already knew about how like psychics work or work. But yeah, and then I just got uh, chatting with him and Elise and a few other people afterwards. And uh, now it's ten past three in the morning and I'm facing a very long walk home. And I hope to God somebody's left the door unlocked. Otherwise I'm sleeping rough tonight. Oh, I'll catch you later. It just occurred to me, it's... Well, past three in the morning. It's my dad's birthday today. And it's Alison's birthday. And it's John Green's birthday. And I'm sure there's others who I'm forgetting whose birthday it is today. But, um... Dad, uh, as I'm recording this, I'm planning on tomorrow picking up some Scotch whiskey for you. Probably by the time you've get around to seeing this, you would have drunk it. But I hope it was a good one. I really should stop um, having conversations with the future. Day 12. The final day. And uh, I've got a couple of hours now to go and uh, well, tie up any loose ends that I need to. Mainly just buying stuff for people when they get home. Well, I haven't had very much luck tracking down anything for the people back home, although I'm actually more worried about breaking the bank. But while I'm here, I thought I'd just show you this. This is Fringe Central. It's a place where any of the people who are performing at the Fringe can come for support, a coffee, um, to use the Wi-Fi and um, generally chill out in between times and uh, catch up with each other. I think I'm the only member of my uh, company who have actually been here, but uh, no, it looks like a nice place. I think it's a student building um, most of the rest of the time. Yeah. So yeah, this is where it all happens. Well, where it all happens in between times. I left a message on the message board. <laughs> I hope they appreciate it. Everyone's in good spirits here. Look happy. Yeah, thank you. Everyone's in good spirits. We just thought, I think we might not have an opportunity to start. We just wanted to get you little presents. Louise for having such an amazing vision, and for Hannah, if it wasn't for you, we would not have gotten this. We just wanted to get you little gifts just to say thank you very, very much. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we did say that we'd get you a little something something. <laughs>